Bonjour. Welcome back to another episode of Scotty Gomez Learn to Be a Pro. On this episode, we are lucky enough to be here in Eagle River, Alaska at the Odd Man Resch Brewing Company. We're gonna learn how it's a famous, famous old, old trait, how to brew your own beer. Got two great friends that are gonna show us how. We got Reed McDonald, famous Alaskan hockey player. Family, history, he's the man. And his partner, brother-in-law, one of the best hockey players ever to come out of Alaska, my idol. It's the reason why I went so far is because this man right here, Mr. Brian Swanson. They're from Eagle River, so I'm sorry about that, folks, but they're gonna show us how to do this. Step one, we're here at the grain mill now. We're gonna have to crush 14 bags of this into the grain mill. It's gonna crush it, I guess that's all it does, right? It crushes it, and that builds the flavors, the aroma. I just made that up, but it's all right. So we're gonna start with this. Swanee's gonna show us how to do this, because it's, um, it looks hard to lift one of those bags. So Swanee, now that we got this in here, take us through the process. This is gonna grind it up, crush it up, and then where does it go from there? Yeah, yeah. so usually we do this process kind of the night before we uh, move brew the next day or whatever. Um, then we have a flex auger, which is the white PVC, so the auger sucks up the grain over, drops it in the mash tun. So now that the grain's in, how does this uh, machine work? We just yeah, pretty simple. There's a on-off button. Fire it up. There she goes. It's pretty simple. Step two, we're at the mash ton. Did I say that right? We're at the mash ton, grain comes in from there, and it mashes it into tons. But no. <laughs> Swanee will explain, here we go. Yeah, so the grain will come in, sit in the mash tun for an hour, and basically that grain just sleeps in there. Uh, it creates the wart, which then, after an hour, we'll transfer it over, and then uh, we'll start the boil process. Now that the grain has done its process, now we gotta take it out. It turns into spent grain. It's a working process. Nothing's easy here in Alaska, like we learned. So, twist this off. Oops, not that hard, here we go. And look at that. It's a little shovel here, and you just go to work. Don't we have another guy to do this? Where's Reed at this point? So see that is now is there a certain way to do this one or just you're just getting you're, you're put out, yeah. Put out in, you're just kinda toe drag technique. So like good point Brian Swanson just made up. For hockey, this is how you work on your toe drag. Even though I didn't have one, but it's alright. So before the season I used to like doing this. Brew house is good for hockey, it's good for face-offs. For toe drags, your backhand, yeah. just get a workout. Here in Alaska, that's all it's about. Just working out. As much workout as you can get. We didn't always have the special equipment or anything, so you had to find ways how to do the arms. Now we gotta unload it. Here's the forklift. One thing about living in Alaska, you gotta know everything. Know how to drive it. Move forward. Special about living in Alaska, you just learn everything. This little floor clip right here, she's been around since 1926. It was here when the pipeline was built. Uh, stuff like that, you gotta learn how to survive, and driving a floor clip is very essential here in the state of Alaska. Tom Robertson from Palmer, Alaska. And just to prove that us Alaskans, we do not waste anything. All the stuff from the spent grain, Mr. Robertson comes here and he takes it and explain what you do with this. Sure, um, the leftover grain, see how warm that is. It holds the heat in there. Um, we take the leftover grain, uh, we give it to the pigs and the cows to eat on the farm. 
Pigs and the cows. Did the pigs and the cows enjoy this? Or oh yeah, they'll fight over. It. They'll fight over. It? Oh yeah, that's cool. Do they? Uh, you can't get drunk off this. The pigs and stuff. No, like there's no yeast. Oh okay. There's no alcohol. You have to brew. You'd have to let it uh, ferment for a while before you could get high off of it. Uh, we don't want pigs high too in Alaska. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, now we're here at the brew house. This is where it all begins. This is how it starts. The legend Brian Swanson is going to teach us how to go. Uh, we're going to put the hops in. So explain this, uh, this chicken madera we got here. Yeah, we got it. So today we're doing a barley wine and do a 90 minute oil on that. And we're going to throw our first hop addition in. And uh, yeah, go for it. So is there any technique this morning or just it's, uh, pretty much a dump? And... Yeah, perfect. We'll start our timer on uh, 90 minutes. Press the start button and we're off and running. It's that simple. Best beer in Alaska. It only takes 90 minutes. Well, longer than that, but you get the idea. Now that the grain's been boiling for 90 minutes, it's gonna ferment in the fermenter right here. This is where the alcohol is gonna come through. This is what this is what's gonna show what kind of night you're gonna have. The, the higher the content, the lower the content, it all depends. How many you're gonna drink, the magic happens right here. So we've all been banged up, but this is where the barley wine gets its kick. Because it's gonna sit in here for about four to six weeks. A lot of dance moves have been created from this, this process right here. Here at the Odd Man Rush Brewery, this is the secret right here. This is why they probably have the best beer in Alaska. Trust me on that one. So a good question we always get, the Scotty Gomez is going to be a pro, is what happens to the beer? What's the final process? Well, after four to six weeks, the beer's flat. We have to put it in the bright tank. What the bright tank does, it carbonates it. It makes that little fizz, a little pop, a little snap. Goes in here, that's where the magic happens. Okay, so now that the beer's been in the bright tank, sitting there, we have to check the carbonation levels. It's very important you have a Zomnog. I got one of these. Used for many things, many, many things you can use this for. But the most important thing, it's used for beer and to check the carbonation levels. Like I said, be creative when you're in Alaska. So by hooking up the Zomnog, you want to be gentle, gentle. You don't want to break the Zomnog. Very important you don't break the Zomnog. Put that on there. Perfect. Good old fucking Zomnog. Gotta have one. This is probably the most important thing, is the bright tank. That gets it that, that's that kick. So we put in this keg. And we'll go from there. Okay, now that the beer's ready, the kegs are all filled, we gotta tap it. We've all been in situations, you know, a party, a nice kegger, people don't know how to tap it. Don't worry about it, it's simple. Press right down there, see the little nipple, come across. Right there, AK style. Now, now all we gotta do is try it out. So now that we've tapped the keg, now we're gonna try it out. Nice little pour. Cheers, Cheers my friends. Cheers. Cheers. Well, that's good. So a lot of questions we get asked at the Scotty Gomez Learn to Be a Pro is how to pour beer. As you can see, a lot of head in this. Not good timing for that. Our man right here is going to show us, Mr. Swanson, take Tap, it away. Tap through your on or off, right? Mm -hmm. So it's full on, tilt the glass a little bit, get a nice steady stream, which is always good. It is, it is. So look at the difference. Because it's full on, I went half, I'm trying to call it. When it's coming out of the tap, just go right at it. So now that we've made beer, like we like to say in the Scotty Gomez, learn to be a pro, as long as you learn something. And making beer here in Alaska is like making love on a cold winter's night. It starts with a small idea and it works its way up to beauty, to passion, to love. Do you guys agree? There you go. So we'll see you next time. Scotty Gomez learned to be a pro. Making love is like making beer.